Welcome to the Solar KM University channel. In this video, we'll be continuing our series of videos on the HSR, HSM constraint boundary options. And the last in the list is what we'll be covering today, the combined boundary. And the combined boundary actually allows you to combine combinations of the constraint boundaries from the previous uh, options. So if you've seen the rest of this playlist, you'll see how to create each one on that list. In the combined boundary, you actually can combine them into one singular constraint boundary and encompasses all the options of the other ones. So let's take a look at that. So if we go into the part file, you can see that I have my constraint boundary selected. I'm just going to click New. What that'll do is it'll allow me to choose any of the constraint boundaries I've already created. So for instance, if you take a look at the ones that are on screen here from the silhouettes that I created earlier, I have a silhouette there and there. And if we actually take a look at that from the top view, they actually overlap over those two surfaces there. So there's actually a couple of options when you, when you click on this. You go New, and you have Unite, Merge, Subtract, or Intersect. And a good way to see how that works is from the actual help menu. So if you go to your SolidCAM help menu, which you can access by clicking on this icon up here, you can go through the instructions here, but mainly I like the, the, the graphics that are shown here because they really show off what those options do. So what you're doing here is using what's called Boolean algebra. And in Boolean algebra, you're taking two shapes and you're either finding the combination of them, the mutual exclusion of them, or you are intersecting them. So let's take a look at this real quick. So Unite allows you to choose two separate geometries, or in our case, two separate constraint boundaries, and combine them. It actually will eliminate any of those borders there, and that becomes one continuous constraint boundary. If you choose Merge, it actually merges them and, and excludes what is common between them. So you're actually going to do this area and this area. Under Subtract, you're actually subtracting one constraint area from another. So you get this resulting geometry here after you've removed this geometry. And in intersect, you get that mutual area. So they intersect, intersect in that one area there. That's what you get there. Now, a good example of the first two is back in my part file. So if we take a look at what I've done with those two boundaries, so let's just review. In HSM1, I did that top half of, the, of those services. In HSM2, I did the bottom half. So using the constraint boundaries from both of those under Unite, I combine them. So now it actually is doing all those surfaces there. If I use Merge, it actually removes the exclusion. So right there, we're doing the outside, and those two being the shared services, it doesn't do either of those. So that's just an example of the Boolean algebra options within the combined boundary. But the main thing here is you are able to use the different options that we've seen throughout this playlist and combine them into one constraint boundary for one toolpath. So that could be certain areas where you'd like to use your shallow areas for certain areas, Maybe you want to do a bounding box around another area, and then maybe you want to do the theoretical rest areas of another. And then if you combine those together in one major uh, constraint boundary with one tool under one HSM strategy, then you can combine all those options, all those abilities to analyze your part in one tool path. So the combined boundary is the combination of all the other options we've seen in this playlist. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCAM, you can always give us a call at 1-866-955-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcampsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.